Hey, hi, Helen. Welcome back, guys, to today's video. We're unboxing voiceover equipment that's just arrived. We've waited weeks for it. It's finally here, as well as my new Rode mic. So, without further ado, here we go. So, we pretty much get everything from Take A Lot in this country. And uh, we ordered this, as I said, quite a long time ago. I'm really looking forward to this. No idea. Okay. This is what that mouth is. I'm hoping that this new mic is going to really make it easier for you guys to hear me because I've just been using the internal mic on this camera. So I'm off, and there she is. There's the beauty. All you damn YouTubers going on about this thing. Video mic. Pro. So we couldn't get the Pro Plus in our country, but I went to check the video and YouTube reviews, and people said that the Pro is just as good, and uh, there's not much of a difference except the fact that it switches off when you put it in. So let's have a looky see, shall we? Gosh, they put so many stickers on everything here, it's ridiculous. Watch me cut myself now. Knowing myself. Okay, so we've taken everything out the box now and packed it neatly on the floor. We're going to start with the shotgun microphone, which is the Rode microphone from Australia. And here we go. So as I said, this is the preferred favorites. And according to YouTube vloggers and everyone out there that use microphones, this is the best one by far that you can use. So you've got a book here, this is probably its manual. Oh, there's English. Okay, cool. This just explains you how to clip it on. And of course, here's the beautiful mic itself. It is extremely light, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Seems like a solid build. Um, was expecting it to be a bit different, not gonna lie. Uh, but I suppose the only way we're gonna be able to check is actually plugging it in. So we actually uh, got the current camera now that we're recording with. Uh, it doesn't have an uh, external mic or shotgun mic attached to it. So this mic is now going to be put on to do the last video parts here and then you guys will tell me if you see or hear any difference. Alright, be back now. guys so I'm missioning to the shop now so I can actually use this mic for my video I will let you know that I'm pretty peeved off with road right now because this is just nonsense like really nonsense like a warning next time would be great just you know saying see you guys now it's freaking nonsense I still have to supply battery after I paid for this dumbass thing I'm really not impressed. Like, super not impressed. I just want to let you know. 
that I've not gotten to the shop. And in my frustration, okay, I forgot a mask. So now I have to go all the way back to my house to get a mask and then venture all the way back so I can use your stupid mic. This is not on road. I'm just letting you guys know, this is really not cool. You spend so much money on your mic and you don't even have the audacity to either supply a battery or have a built-in battery. What is this? The 90s. The last time I used a 9 volt battery, I was in freaking primary school and I put it in my go-kart. Or in my big controller controlling my little go-kart little radio control thingy, man. No guys, uh-uh. And then to add insult to injury, look at the price of this battery that you guys want. It's 122 bucks. What the hell? This is a horrible experience so far. Horrible. Really horrible. Okay, so I got this incredibly, extremely outdated freaking 9 volt battery that I used back when I was a child. Head back home now and hopefully we can use the mic now. Thanks, Road. Even ruin the song for me now. You leave teardrops everywhere. You think me rude, but I would just stand there, stare. I like to make myself believe that planet Earth turns slowly. It's hard to see, but I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep. Everything. Stupid, 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 stupid battery from the 90s. Ah, oh, let's get stupid parking. Freaking balls. Man, I'm so upset now. Let's try this again. Right, so we're back. This is take two of the Rode VideoMic Pro, and I'm gonna put the nine volt battery in it now. So what I saw now is I just did a bit of a dissection of it myself. It's just easy to take off the foamy part here. And then you'll see that's a little clip here, so you just press up, and then it'll clip out there, and then you take this part off. Sweet. Let's just get this open. Goes, all right, so the minus goes at the top, plus at the bottom. Sweet. See it on your battery. Pop that big ass thing in there. And then you go from the top, go underneath it here. Try and get a grip in there. And then pop it in. Then it should be on. All right, so we're getting some. All right, so then just put your fluffy, fluffy thing back. So attach it back to the camera again. Okay, so I'm assuming it is now on and it is working. I just don't know what decibels I need to put it on, so let's give it a smash and see if it works. And welcome back to my new sound, guys. This is my Canon 800D with my Rode VideoMic Pro. I attached to it now. I'm hoping the sound quality is better. 